Live from downtown Spokane, this is 4 News Now at 6. We begin tonight with some breaking news. Good evening to you. I'm Jordan Smith. We now know the name of that woman who was killed near Boone in Cedar back in July. The Spokane County Medical Examiner says 30-year-old Stephanie Stein died because she was strangled. Stein's boyfriend, Corbin Hood, reported her death in July. And Spokane police have enough probable cause to arrest him, but he's currently at a corrections facility down in Florida for unrelated charges. His extradition is pending. If you're driving along I-90 or in the East Central neighborhood, you've probably seen fencing and that security at Camp Hope, as well as how much smaller the camp has become. At its height, the encampment had over 600 people. Now less than 200 are calling it home, and that number continues to drop. In October, businesses in the East Central neighborhood voiced their frustrations about crime that they say is stemming from the camp. Bronte Sorotsky shares how East Central businesses are feeling now that the camp is shrinking. Camp Hope is getting smaller. While people are moving from the camp into better housing, businesses nearby say they're still dealing with crime that they say is from the camp. Not exactly sure what happened. Just started seeing more uh, drug use, a lot of trespassing, panhandling, you know, on the property. Employees are getting, uh, you know, getting threatened, getting hurt. We don't really want that to happen any longer. Michael Bell is a manager at the store on Thor and says that while he's noticed that more people have left the camp. It is shrinking. People are getting help. They are getting the sources that they need. Employees are still dealing with people stealing, even getting physical with them. It definitely can affect you. You know, it definitely can affect you uh, emotionally, uh, unfortunately, physically, maybe at times. Bell says the campus changed the area. While he says he and his employees don't judge anyone's situations, they want the crime to stop. I would just like to, you know, see the neighborhood get back to where it was. On Friday, Camp Hope managers brought in cleanup crews to get rid of trash left behind by former residents as they prepared to start shrinking the physical size of the camp. Now, there's still no set date to clear the camp, but starting Monday, this fence is going to start to move in as things from people no longer living at the camp are being moved out. Reporting in East Central, Bronte Sorotsky, 4 News Now. All right, some good information and something to keep an eye on. Meantime, Martin Luther King Jr. Day is on Monday, and there are some closures in the city that you need to know about. City Hall, along with other city facilities like Spokane Public Libraries, will be closed. Garbage pickup schedules will stay the same, and parking in downtown, that will be free. From 10 a.m. to noon, these streets that are outlined on your screen in Spokane will be closed for the Martin Luther King Jr. Parade. There will also be no street parking on Bernard and uh, Washington from Spokane Falls Boulevard to Riverside Avenue because of that parade. And some beautiful weather today. Some clear blue skies, some sun peeking out of there, Matt. A nice break from this cold winter snap we had. It was an amazing day. Yeah. It really, really was. And by the way, we hit the 50s. <laughs> Incredible. Yeah. Th this is the official halfway point of winter, by the way, so it's nice we got a little spring preview. We're halfway there. Here we are, 51 it got to today in Spokane Valley, and a lot of places got into the mid-40s. Of course, we have cooled off now here at 6 p.m., but you know what? It's not all that much cooler. We're still in the 40s in Liberty Lake in downtown Spokane, dropping down into the 30s around Spokane International and across the Rathdrum Prairie as well. Not going to get much cooler than this tonight, and that's because the clouds are going to start to build back in. In fact, they are already, and you can see our next storm system already working through the Tri-Cities and beginning to push its way into the inland northwest. So let's take a look at this leading edge of this little system here and put a track on it. So everywhere in this gray box, that's where we're going to see the rain begin within the next two hours. So places like Moses Lake, like La Crosse, like Lewiston, a little bit of that rain is going to get across the mountains, and you'll have at least a sprinkle or two over the next couple of hours between now and 8 p.m. Now around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, we're going to be waiting a lot longer. It's going to be after, say, 9 o'clock, perhaps 10, 11 p.m. at the earliest until we see some of that rain work its way into the I-90 corridor. And as we continue to cloud over, temperatures not going to change that much. We have a couple more days in the 40s before we start cooling off. Plus, I'll show you when you can avoid some rain for your Sunday forecast. All right, Matt, good information there. The Spokane Public Schools is opening five high school gyms on Sundays for students to play basketball 
and it's free for students grades 5 through 12. It starts Sunday the 22nd and runs through May 21st. Ferris High School, Lewis, High, Lewis and Clark High School, North Central High School, Shadle Park High, and Rogers High School will all be open. You do have to register your student, and the form needs to be signed by a parent or guardian. For more information, including the advanced registration form, you can click on this story on our website, kxly.com. For weeks, we've heard from frustrated residents all across Washington telling us their mail, paychecks, even their medication was arriving late. But my mother, I mean, her her medications have been late too, so. How late have they been? Um, I think about a week, yeah, so. And she needs that medication. She's 90, she definitely needs the medication. And during our month-long investigation, we also learned of some of the grueling hours that many of these mail carriers were putting in to make up for those staffing shortages that were plaguing so many post offices, not just here, but across the nation. And for the first time, we were able to hear back from the USPS directly on these problems. During that interview, Kim Frum, a spokesperson with the USPS, told us that their number one priority right now is to fill these vacancies. We're told they are aggressively trying to hire 1,000 new employees within the first couple of months of this year, utilizing job fairs and online job postings. She discussed staffing shortages, mail delays, and their message to these frustrated customers. That's one of the reasons we're hiring so many employees because we know our customers rely on us and we need to get back to that reliable daily mail service. So, you know, we ask for their patience, we ask for their understanding, um, and we understand the frustrations and we, we do apologize for the times that it happens, but thank you. Things are starting to get back to normal at a volume perspective, but we are continuing that aggressive hiring so we can make sure that we continue to deliver successfully and consistently for all of our customers. And from also tells us they're nearly back up to speed on delayed mail deliveries and packages. And we, we reached out to several of the people you've seen during our coverage of this story, many of them telling us that for the most part, things are getting back on track. Moscow, Idaho has been in the national spotlight for two months since four University of Idaho students were stabbed to death in a home near campus. A gag order has been issued by a judge, which means no attorneys or investigators can talk about the case, and new information may be hard to find in the coming months. Koberger has waived his right to a speedy trial, giving his defense team more time to prepare. That means he won't be back in court until June 26th. The defense now has months to build a case, and part of building that case is filing a request for discovery, which the defense filed back on Tuesday. Now that requires the prosecution and law enforcement to share all of the information that they have on this case. Spokane attorney Bevan Maxey has stood as the defense attorney for many high profile cases. He says the defense's request for discovery will give them key pieces of evidence. The obligation is not just to turn over the bad things, but also to turn over those things that could be looked at as being positive on behalf of the defendant. Maxie says the defense team will argue in the preliminary hearing that there's not enough evidence for this case to go to trial. On the other side, the prosecution already had enough evidence to arrest and charge Koberger. That was outlined in that affidavit of probable cause that was released when he returned to Latok County. But they won't stop there. Again, Koberger's next court appearance will be on June 26th for his preliminary hearing. And coming up, one of our most clicked on stories right now, the Spokane dad facing manslaughter charges for his one-year-old why the judge released him. And that $1.35 billion winner, where that winning ticket was sold. And the reason more 18 to 29 year olds are choosing to live at home with their parents. And we are keeping an eye on some showery conditions that'll come off and on on Sunday. But don't worry, there's going to be some breaks that you'll be able to get outside and enjoy some of this warmer weather. We're also keeping an eye on another storm coming in for the middle of the week. We'll give you some information on that and where the, we'll find those breaks in the rain tomorrow in your forecast coming up. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Going on now. It's the National RV Show at the Convention Center downtown. There'll be amazing RV discounts and a huge selection of units for a variety of traveling experiences. And now for the first time featuring tiny homes. Tons of vendors and free admission. It's the National RV Show at 12th through the 16th. Dear all-wheel drive, let's show the road what we've got. Snowy streets, we're coming for you. Icy grip, we're holding tight. Wintry mix, meh. Safety's the name of our game. Yours. 
Toyota all-wheel drive sedans. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. More epic than standing at the throat of a volcano. More epic than shredding the gnar. More epic than Julie doing three things at once. It's the epic sell-off at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Like the Doctor's Choice Firm for only $664.99. Check out the Summit Firm for only $332.49. Or get a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Plus three years no interest and free shipping. Shop the epic sell-off today, only at Denver Mattress. Coeur d'Alene Casino is giving you three ways to win one of 42 cruises this January. Play to earn entries starting January 1st. Then, come in for the $75,000 Cruisin' in 23 giveaway to be one of 30 winners of a cruise for two and $500 cash on January 28th. Next, we'll announce 10 winners of the Cruise to Alaska Point Battle on January 29th. Plus, join the Extra Bingo Game for a chance to win a $2,000 certificate towards a dream cruise only at Coeur d'Alene Casino. At Mazda, we engineer confidence behind the wheel for all our drivers. The fact that the 2023 Mazda CX-5 remains the only small SUV in its class to achieve the highest rating in the new IIHS side impact crash test as of July 2022 ensures this confidence also extends to our passengers. The all-wheel drive Mazda CX-5 was built for the Pacific Northwest. We have over 60 Mazdas in stock now at Foothills Mazda. Take yours home today or visit SpokaneMazda.com. Going on now. It's the National RV Show at the Convention Center downtown. There'll be amazing RV discounts and a huge selection of units for a variety of traveling experiences. And now for the first time featuring tiny homes. Tons of vendors and free admission. It's the National RV Show the 12th through the 16th. 4 News Now is brought to you by Gold Seal Plumbing. We'll turn now to one of the top stories on our website right now. A Spokane dad is facing manslaughter charges for the death of his one-year-old child. Police arrested Ryan Bemis Thursday, and he appeared in court on Friday. Detectives say back in July they were called to Bemis' home on Spokane South Hill to investigate the death of a one-year-old girl. Bemis told police he had found the girl underneath the dresser that had fallen over in that girl's bedroom. Court documents show that Bemis' daughter and his two-year-old son had been locked in that bedroom for 16 hours. Bemis is facing charges of criminal mistreatment, abandonment of a child, and manslaughter in the second degree. On Friday, the judge released Bemis on his own recognizance because he's completed child protective services classes and the state has returned his now three-year-old child back into his custody. You can find the full story on our website on kxly.com. Well, how about that big Mega Millions drawing worth $1.35 billion? One winning ticket has hit all six numbers plus the Mega Ball, making someone very, very rich. New at 6 tonight, ABC's Michelle Franzen tells us where that winning ticket was sold. Whoever said Friday the 13th was unlucky clearly wasn't paying attention to fate. A sole winning ticket worth $1.35 billion, $707.9 million after taxes, was sold at Hometown Gas and Grill in Lebanon, Maine. A border town between Boston and Portland. Fred Cattro owns the store where the winning ticket was sold. Oh, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It's didn't get any better. It's the second largest Mega Millions jackpot and the fourth largest lottery win in U.S. history. It's also Maine's first ever Mega Millions victory. Your wheels start turning once I got the news from the Lottery Commission early this morning. And right after I checked my own tickets, I'm excited to find out who it is. Hopefully it's a local that can, I'm sure, put it to good use. 14 tickets matched all five white balls to win the game's second tier prize of $1 million. Four were sold in New York, two in California, and one each in Florida, Illinois, Kansas, Kentucky, Missouri, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, and Texas. This isn't the first time Friday the 13th has brought good news for lottery wins. Friday night's jackpot win is the seventh on the date since the Mega Millions drawing began in 2002. Michelle Franzen, ABC News, New York. A billion 
dollars. Matt, you know, with all that money, they could buy a nice house in a really uh, warm area of the world like Spokane <laughs> lately. How about that? That'd be kind uh, of fun. I think if they want super warm weather, they're they're looking at a tropical island somewhere. They could probably buy their own at yeah, this rate. I think one or two. At this rate, or at least a good heater. Certainly not uh, the warmest time of the year in Maine yeah. either. We have been feeling uh, on the tropical side, though, for this weekend so far, and it's still pretty mild out there. 39 in Spokane. Coeur d'Alene's at 38. We're in the 40s in Pullman, Lewiston, over to Moses Lake in the Tri-Cities. We do have some rain on the way as well, and so these temperatures aren't going to fall all that much tonight. In fact, you can see just a few degrees we're going to shave off for your low temperatures. In fact, some of those numbers didn't even move at all. Another storm system, and this has got two rounds of moisture coming along. The first one going to be moving in tonight, and then more moisture coming in on the backside here. It's going to track its way through uh, California and Oregon through tonight and through most of tomorrow, and so we'll have round number two as we head into about this time on Sunday. So there is going to be a little break in there, which is going to be helpful if you got some plans outside for tomorrow, or you just want to enjoy the warm weather like we did today. A little bit of rain, a sprinkle or two places like Lewiston working its way towards the Palouse. So we may see just a little spritz, at least to start off with in Pullman and Moscow. The main body of the rain still a little bit far to the south, but we'll see it move into these areas in the next couple of hours. It's still a ways away from Spokane and Coeur d'Alene, and so we are going to be mostly kind of a very middle of the night type of rain event here. We'll all be asleep or at least inside enjoying ourselves, having some fun. And we will end up uh, with mostly dry conditions and probably a little bit of fog as we're waking up in the morning. So here we go. This is about 10 o'clock, starting to see at least a sprinkle or two moving into the metro. Heaviest rain is going to be around places like OMAC as we go throughout the night, right on the east there, eastern side of the Cascades. Here, though, this is about 2 o'clock. You can see that rain pushing through. As we head towards, say, 7, 8, 9 in the morning, still some rain places like OMAC. Sandpoint, Colville, north to the U.S. Canada border, but dry elsewhere. A chance for some sun in the middle of the day, and then here comes the second round. Not exactly going to be uh, widespread, or I should I say steady rain. It's going to be hit or miss, widespread hit or miss rain as we go through the night and into your early Monday morning where things will dry out once again. So it may not be the best ski conditions around the region, but certainly we will have a, a pretty good shot at having some at least dry conditions and some mild temperatures as you get some turns in on this holiday weekend. A little bit of fog to start around the metro. Nice in the middle of the day. The sun may pop out even for a little bit. Not as long as today, but at least for a little, maybe an hour or two, we might see some more sunshine and they will be up into the mid 40s. And there's that rain that starts up later. High of 44 in Spokane, upper 30s in Coeur d'Alene, close to 50 degrees around some parts of central Washington. So we continue to bask in this warmth. We'll get up into the 40s again for Martin Luther King Jr. Day, but the sun going to be nowhere to be found. Cloudy on dry on Tuesday, Wednesday, looking like it's going to get stormy and could get a little sloppy and slippery for the evening commute as rain changes over to snow. Calmer weather for the end of the week. Well, a near record number of Americans are living at home trading rent for retail therapy, saving money, and then spending it lavishly. 22-year-old Lillian Zong talks openly about her decision to live at home with her parents. She landed a job in tech after college and moved back in with her parents, unwilling to pay up to $3,000 a month in that San Francisco Bay area for rent. I personally have a good relationship with my parents, so I feel like it's really nice to live here, and it's also nice because I can save money on rent. Data from the Pew Research Center shows the number of young adults living with their parents has been rising for decades and peaked during the pandemic. It's now stayed near the highest level since the Great Depression, driven in part by rising rents. According to Pew Research, in 2022, about 48% of the nation's 18 to 29-year-olds were living with one or both parents. Coming up in sports here tonight, the Seattle Seahawks have been eliminated from the playoffs. What went wrong for the Seahawks in that loss to the division rival San Francisco 49ers? Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Stop. Don't buy an RV until the Big RV Show, the 35th annual in the Northwest RV Show, January 19th through 22nd. Six gigantic dealers, hundreds of RVs, incredible prices. Save thousands at the Big RV Show. Spokane Fairgrounds, January 19th through 22nd with free parking. Not so fast, Omicron. New updated COVID boosters are now available to ages six months and older. So maximize your protection against Omicron and help reduce the spread. 
Book your updated booster with your pharmacy or healthcare provider. Are you ready for winter and unexpected power outages? Talk with the experts at Country Homes Power to find the best fireplace to protect your home, even when the power goes out. Like Valor Gas Fireplaces. Visit Country Homes Power today. January is Plinko Money Drop Month, and we're giving more people a chance to win more money. You can qualify all month long to win. We're making it rain cold, hard cash, baby. We'll also have lunch and dinner specials, spa specials, and room rate specials. Midweek rooms at the Kootenai Falls Lodge are $79. Weekends are $99. The only way to win at Plinko Money Drop is to play Plinko Money Drop. So call 888-YOU-ARE-LUCKY or visit KootenyRiverInn.com. All right, something for everyone. Something for everyone. Medicare. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Just like the pros, Primera is here to assist with health plan choices everyone can appreciate. This year, don't wait another year in pain and suffering, struggling to pay your bills due to an injury or disability. Hello, I'm Eric Pinar, and collecting Social Security Disability is a complex process, and our firm has helped thousands of people collect the benefits they are due. It's not easy, but we understand how to get it done. And at Pinar Law, we don't get paid until you do. So give us a call for your free consultation today. Stop. Don't buy an RV until the big RV show, the 35th annual in the Northwest RV show, January 19th through 22nd. Six gigantic dealers, hundreds of RVs, incredible prices. Save thousands at the big RV show. Spokane Fairgrounds, January 19th through 22nd with free parking. The NFL playoffs are underway. Welcome into sports. I'm Julian Minnesota. Now, many doubted the Seattle Seahawks would ever get to the postseason in the first place. If the Seahawks wanted to continue their improbable run, they would have to do something they haven't been able to do all season, and that's beat the San Francisco 49ers. NFC wildcard game from Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. This is how it went down. Niners got off to a quick start. Brock Purdy dumps one off to Christian McCaffrey, who waltzes into the end zone for a touchdown in the first score of the game. Seahawks find themselves down early, but Seattle hasn't quit all season, and partly because of that guy right there, Geno Smith, hands it off to his running back, Kenneth Walker, who turns the corner and beats everyone to the end zone. And guess what? Seattle wasn't done yet. Seahawks will have the ball again, this time at midfield. Watch this. Smith with an absolute dime on the money to DK Metcalf. Seattle would take a one-point lead going into halftime. Seahawks feeling good. The fans that were in attendance were feeling good. Niners fans not so much, but the second half was a completely different story. The Seahawks actually didn't really even show up in the second half. Niners at the goal line. Brock Purdy punches it into the end zone for the score as the Niners retake the lead. Now Seattle, they would get the ball back looking to answer and looking to retake the lead. It'll be Smith but unfortunately gets the ball stripped. Nick Bosa recovers it for the Niners, and their fans and players went absolutely crazy after that as the Seahawks lose the ball and an absolute backbreaker for Seattle. Then, on this very next play, it'll be Purdy right here, looking to throw, looking for somebody. Seattle almost tackles him, but Purdy will find Elijah Mitchell. And overcoming adversity all season long was the mantra for the Seahawks, but it was just too much for Seattle today. The Seahawks season comes to an end in Santa Clara, 41-23. to The big question is, going into this offseason, what they're going to do with Geno Smith, who played above and beyond expectations after they traded away Russell Wilson. But for now, the Seahawks still reeling after that loss. Exactly like we had talked about, exactly like we had pictured it, there it was. You know, we had played through the adversity and we were ahead. And uh, on the road, you know, nobody thought you could ever even be close. And it just didn't quite come together, you know. And, and uh, so that's what's really frustrating. And Carroll says he hopes Smith is the Seahawks quarterback come next season. Gonzaga head basketball coach Mark Few is cracking a few smiles at the high school games on Friday night. Good to see, especially after the stressful week for the Bulldogs. Gonzaga needed a last second three from Julian Strother just to beat BYU the other night. And that came after wins over San Francisco and Santa Clara that also went down to the wire. Gonzaga will hope to have a much more stress-free evening tonight against Portland. The Bulldogs have one 
won 14 straight games over the Pilots. Washington State men's basketball and Stanford are tied at 37 in the second half. DJ Rodman has a team high nine points for Washington State. Cougars, they've won three of the last four games heading into this one. Gonzaga women's hoops also in action, and they're tied against Portland at 43 in the third quarter. Brenna Maxwell leading the way, 14 points for the Zags. Both teams in this one are undefeated, so the winner will get sole position, possession of first place in the WCC standings. That'll wrap us up for sports. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by All Lines Insurance at alllinesinsure.com. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. What? That's our boy. So bright. There's no better morning than a buy one, get one for a dollar morning at McDonald's. ba da ba ba, -ba. The 35th annual Inland Northwest RV Show is back. The multi-dealer show at the Spokane Fairgrounds, January 19th through 22nd. Beat the rush in preview units now at r, &R RV in Liberty Lake in North Spokane. Every RV at r, &R RV is show priced. Reserve yours before the multi-dealer show, January 19th through 22nd at the fairgrounds. r, &R RV, your RV superstore. Visit r, &R RV in Liberty Lake and North Spokane or shop now at r, &R -RV .com. Come on, Lucky Charm. Enough with the textbook. You're up 1,100 and I got a test tomorrow. What's more important, me winning a jackpot today or your entire future sometime in the future? Besides, how hard could it be? Go ahead, quiz me. Fine. What's the square root of 349? 18.682. I just wasted my luck, didn't I? cars, trucks, and SUVs at Max Auto Sports during the New Year New You sales event with rates starting at 1.9%. Cars from $199, trucks and SUVs from $299, plus Max Lifetime Powertrain Warranty at no cost. Get what you really want with our best sale ever. Get $5,000 over KBB for your trade. Out with the old and in with the new you. Hurry, it all ends Tuesday only at Max Auto Sports. The biggest Tempur-Pedic event of the year is on right now at More Furniture. Your best night's rest is available at an incredible value. Choose the Tempur-Pedic that suits your sleep style and outfit your bed with a free set of sheets, mattress protector, and two free Tempur-Pedic pillows. We will also remove your old mattress with free white glove delivery of your new one. Plus, you can take a full 72 months to pay with interest-free financing. Don't wait. The biggest Tempur-Pedic sale of the year is on now, only at More Furniture. McCafe Iced Coffee is the perfect reward for those mornings that deserve a reward. Get a medium iced coffee any flavor for just $2. Take a treat retreat. Available all day at McDonald's. Keeping an eye on some rain, slowly but surely moving in. So we're going to start to see some sprinkles here in the next hour around Pullman, Moscow area south of Moses Lake and Ritzville. We'll wait a few more hours. We'll get you to enjoy our evening more around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene before the rain moves in. All right, Matt, thanks for that. And hey, thanks for joining us here tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Download the 4 News Now app today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.